but why some say the moon. We choose to go to the moon in this decade and do the other things, not because they are easy, but because they are hard. Because that goal will serve to organize and measure the best of our energies and skills. When President Kennedy said, we're going to the moon, we're doing it by the end of this decade, and we're gonna bring people back safely, NASA literally didn't know how they were gonna do that. He spoke with su such conviction, and believing that something is possible is, uh, is nine-tenths of the way there. President Kennedy knew that by uniting Americans in a common goal that would advance democracy, he would inspire American excellence in science, technology, engineering, but also imagination, dedication, courage, and patriotism. In doing so, he changed the course of history and improved the lives of people on Earth. Thank you. You know, when I think of post-Apollo 11, I, I think of that that 29-day or whatever it was jaunt that Neil and Buzz and I took around the world. And, and, and instead of people saying, oh, you Americans finally did it, way to go, uh, everywhere we went, unanimously, people said, we did it. One of the most um, exciting parts about the space station is sharing it with others. This uh, program of International Space Station program is a 15-country uh, endeavor, and we can share the output of uh, science and technology. I still remember uh, vividly the Apollo 11 lunar landing when I was five years old. The Apollo achievement, I think, ignited the fascination and also the, uh, the desire to fly in space. There's not an astronaut alive today who doesn't. Um, we owe it all to him. You know, just like the old days when humans explored the far reaches of our Earth for the first time, space exploration is part of what it means to be human. We have the desire to know the unknown. One of the gigantic legacies of Apollo is it inspired so many people to enter science, engineering, uh, uh, become pioneers, explorers. I think it's hard, hard to overstate the degree to which that program did that for a whole generation of people, not just in the U.S., but around the world. We did something as a civilization that everybody had used as a literal symbol of impossibility. Oh yeah, that'll happen when a man walks on the moon. And they had to change that metaphor um, in 1969. I think understanding the history of, of big, inspiring challenges is important. Knowing that we, in the past, have been able to rise and meet these challenges is critical. And so using the JFK legacy to help inspire more young people to think about their own moonshots is a wonderful thing. And I'm really thrilled to be a part of the JFK Library as we're trying to do that.